So let's talk about dogging. Now, not like an actual dog, but dogging dead latches. Now, we get quite a few questions about this, right? So on a typical dead latch that is found on a storefront door, typically on the back side of it, there's a paddle, right? And a lot of times customers are wanting to dog it down. So during the day, the latch doesn't have to be retracted to open the door, maybe for business hours. Now, there are paddles out there that you can dog down, but the average one that you're gonna see out in the wild is not going to be that way. And a lot of times people are kind of confused about that. And the answer to dog down these dead latches is actually really simple. Now, when you look at any sales descriptions or instructions included, it even brings it up. But if you're kind of like me, usually instructions go out of the box and well, down in the garbage. So as what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the camera, I'm gonna put it over top, and I'm gonna explain to you how the dogging works on all the standard dead latches. Now, I'm sure most of you know this, but if you don't, I tell you what, it's gonna be really helpful. Let's dive into it. All right, so I have our uh, standard uh, dead latch here. I went ahead and put a uh, mortise cylinder in here. Now it's important to note that essentially all of these are the same. So different brands, they're essentially the same here. But it's what we do here if we, uh, turn the key, right? It's gonna bring the dead latch in. Now to dog it is actually going to be very simple. All you have to do, and let me show you back here. You're gonna see um, see these little bars here. That's what's actually you're gonna to use to dog it down. So all you have to do is push in the dead latch with your finger, okay? Let me turn this around. So I'm gonna keep my finger here. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to push that on. You see how I did that there? And um, by moving that there, I'm gonna push it back. So I'm just gonna move the key the opposite way, right over where see the tail piece is gonna hit that part right here and you're gonna see it push in, just like that. And by doing that, now when I just let go over here, you're gonna say it stays in. So that's all it is, just those little, little tiny uh, metal bars right there is what is dead latching it. Now to undead latch it is real simple. You just uh, turn the key and it's going to do that. So one more, let me do it again really quick, one more time. So I'm gonna push this in, right? I'm gonna bring it around, I'm gonna um, spin the cylinder. So I'm essentially just spinning it the opposite way, like that. I'm gonna push it in. Now of course I can take this, pull the key out. I'm gonna pull my hand off it. It's gonna stay um, dogged in. To undog it, you just uh, release it. Now, why was this built this way compared to just doing a dogging uh, a paddle like a uh, exit device? And the, and the reason for this one here is that it's really giving access to the person that has the key, right? So the person who has the key gets the control, the access to the lock. Whereas if you have a paddle on the back for, I mean, let's say someone, instead of closing the door at night, um, they went and just dogged it down secretly without anybody knowing and um, could you know break in later or something like that. But if the person has to have the key, it just adds a level of security over just getting a, uh, a paddle that you can dog down. So hope that's helpful. And if you've ever been wondering, that's exactly what these two little uh, bars are here. So no matter what side you put the cylinder in, um, you can um, dog the dead latch down. All right, so there you have it. And that's how you can easily dog any standard aluminum style storefront dead latch. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs> so let's talk. But no, no, no. No, no. Come on, PJ, spit it out. Spit it out. Dead latch. Now remember. Now remember a lot. Hey, congratulations. You've made it to the end of the video. You probably deserve a medal, maybe a plaque. But hey, I wanna make sure that when you're commenting that you're including the hashtag LockBoss. When you do, you automatically get entered in to win one of five free prizes we're giving away each week here live on YouTube on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. We'll see you in the comments.